Hey guys, Johnny again. Right, um, I'm going to do a another video um, of bands or artists that I don't think people show on the VC. VC being vinyl community. Um, so I've already done a video. I think a couple of weeks ago um, and uh, I've gone through some more vinyl and um, yeah hopefully I haven't repeated myself because um, that normally happens because that normally happens because that normally happens but yeah um, the um, I'm gonna uh, start off with a band that I do really like, only, and I haven't followed them for a very long time. Um, the last three years, I suppose, and it's an old band. Um, but I just never. I loved one of the second singer they had, um, which was Jimmy Jameson, and the band was Survivor, and um, I didn't really like. The first singer, yeah, I have the Tiger song was great, but it's just been overplayed too much. Um, but Jimmy Jameson um, phase of the band was just killer, um, and I love so many of the songs. Um, and then I just went through a whole Survivor, um, just playing them over and over again, like in the last couple of years or so. But um, yeah. But I don't own any of the records with Jimmy Jameson on, so I've had to show you this one. <laughs> and I've got about three of the first three albums from the first lineup. I think it's three. I definitely got two. <laughs> right. So there's that. Or I might have. I know I've got another one of these. So Survivor. If anybody shows Survivor stuff, put your link below so I can watch it. Um. Another band that I don't see much of in the VC, and um, they're really cool. Uh, well, really good band, um, and I've got loads of their records, well, albums on CD. Not so much on um, vinyl. I think this is the only album I got on vinyl. Um, I've got loads of twelve-inch singles, and it is the band Thunder. This is a picture disc of Backstreet. Symphony, uh, first album they did. Obviously the um, uh, Danny Bells and Luke Morley were in Terra Plane. Terra Plane, yeah, that's it. Before this, um, never heard any of that stuff either. But yeah, been into Thunder since their second album came out in '92, and um, yeah, this album is real really really good it's awesome so if you haven't got this go out or check it on youtube first it's, it is really good um and same with the second album um so them are the highlights for me they've got a new album out called rip it up i think it is i think it's called rip it up but i haven't got that yet so i will get it at some point so um yeah another band that i don't see much of um, and then this one is a band I hated back in the day. I really couldn't watch. I, I, I detested it. I was like, no, I can't listen to that shit. And then, up until what, last year, I listened to, I picked up one of the CDs and I thought, well, I'm going to give it another go. And I picked up, um, I think it's their first album. And um, I was like, uh, listening to it, and I thought, actually, this is really good. And my taste has changed. And the band are extreme. And um, I do like this song as well, Song for Love. This is the only record on vinyl I've got of theirs. And the album I picked up was Porno Graffiti. Is it Porno Graffiti 2? Oh, I can't remember. But it's one of them. Um, 
but I got this because it's got love of my life when they did the um, Freddie Mercury tribute I think that's that recording from that so um, yeah with Brian May so yeah that's um, another band that I've just recently got into after all these years of hating them <laughs> um, it's so weird how your taste change when you get older right another amazing band I can't even remember if I put this in my last video I don't think I did and it is Foreigner now I love the stuff in the eight, in the 80s as well and there's the cool stuff in the 70s um, but yeah in so, this I love loads of the songs on here um, and the album before um, and uh, yeah check them out check all the albums out instead of buying the greatest hits because the albums are good as well um, I've always had like the greatest hits and then just you know you hear the same songs on the radio all the time and then I've explored the albums more now and uh, I'm like, whoa, that's, some of them songs are awesome and they're not even on the greatest hits. So, Foreigner. And Lou Graham's really awesome singer as well. Um, yeah, check out River... Uh, not River Bell, Shadow King. I think they, there was some good stuff on there as well. And also the... The last album that had Lou Graham on when he was a foreigner from the mid 90s that's a really good album uh, right another artist that I don't see much of mentioned in the VC and this album has always been one of my favorites um, and he's a far superior singer to the singer in the band um, I just love this, his tone of singing it's just so much better he should have fronted the band really and you'll know who I mean Richie Sambora from Bon Jovi or was in Bon Jovi um, this was his first solo record and uh, this is actually one of my all time favourite records as well this is I don't I always forget to put it in my favourite records but yeah this is awesome father time amazing song um stranger in this town church of desire ballad of youth one like burning mr blues man you know really good songs on there awesome so um and uh yeah i've been listening to the aftermath of the lowdown is it lowdown yeah which is an album of his that came out a few years ago that's um pretty good as well um, right another artist you don't see much of on the or I don't see much of on the VC and I've always been into this this guy and this was well before he did this very famous hit song that was at number one for a gazillion years and um, yeah I was into this him in from about 1988 and um, it is Brian Adams and you know if you haven't listened to this album or the stuff before um, well his 80s stuff from 1980 onwards to um, that album <laughs> Waking Up The Neighbours um, yeah all killer awesome really good um, I struggle to choose my favourite but this would probably be one of them so um check it out really cool and the last band that I'm going to show in this video is um, I was going to show this in the last one I did and I missed it out I left it to one side I was like oh my god I forgot it um, but this band really good um, unfortunately the singer is no longer with us which is a shame because he had a lot of talent really cool um, and it is Big Country. And this album's really cool. Um, the Teacher. 
listen to the teacher that is amazing um look away and even if you like um listen to like the first album with um fields of fire on and stuff like that absolutely amazing um yeah i don't get bored of this band really cool so um yeah check them out and uh hopefully you enjoyed that let me know what you think in the comments below um keep rocking and um i'm going off to make another drink because my throat is getting a bit sore so uh, yeah that one's run out cheers and uh hi to everyone in the vc and uh laters <laughs>